Aaron here. Throughout your life, you encounter lots and lots of claims, statements that declare something to be true. And as access to information increases exponentially, so do the number of claims that you encounter. That social media post your aunt shared, that's a claim. Advertisements, claims. A video like this one, you guessed it, a claim. So, how do we give students the tools and experience they need to evaluate claims? Yep. Start with the CER framework to help them understand that statements that are said to be true are called claims, C, and they must be supported by relevant and verifiable evidence, E, that's linked to the claim by clear logical reasoning, R. Claims, evidence, reasoning, CER. Let's look at an example. Laws in the United States are not always fair. That's our claim. What's our evidence? First, many states had laws that denied African Americans the right to vote until 1870. Second, many states had laws that denied women the right to vote until 1920. And now our reasoning. Since fairness means to treat people equally, and voting laws singled out groups of people for different treatment, then it is true that laws are not always fair. A few final tips. Have an anchor chart on the wall that breaks down the CER framework. This way students can easily refer to it as they evaluate and create claims. Help students recognize that claims are not only in writing, they are everywhere. Television commercials, photographs, songs, print ads, social media posts, and videos. Finally, practice, practice, practice evaluating and making claims with your students as much as you can so they can evaluate claims quickly or recognize that they need to explore the evidence and reasoning in depth.